Sometimes your labels look great on your screen, but just won't print properly. You're sure you've done everything right, but for some reason, the labels are either misaligned or the quality isn't just good enough. It's frustrating. So to remedy the situation, today I'm going to give you some quick tips to make sure it prints out perfectly each time. The first step in printing your best labels is to choose labels that are compatible with your printer. Inkjet and laser printers work differently. So if you use laser labels in an inkjet printer or vice versa, you're not going to get the best printing quality. The ink might smear or flake and that will look terrible. So check what type of printer you have before picking your labels. Keep in mind, small ink equals inkjet printer. Larger toner cartridges, laser printers. The second step is to check your printer settings. To do that you just click on the little printer here and then go ahead and click on more settings. You want to make sure that you set your margins to none and your scale is to 100 otherwise your labels will be misaligned. Another important thing to check is the paper size. So depending on the template that you are using, you're not going to be using the same paper size. So he here we're using Avery 5160, so we want to go for US letter. Uh, if you're using Avery 3475, for instance, you're going to go for an A4 format. So make sure you check all of these. The third step is to decrease the font size or reduce the amount of text. So to do that, you're going to go ahead and select the text and then check the font size here. The reason why we do that is because if your font size is too large, the text may take up too much space. So try reducing, for instance, from 11 to 10. You can also reduce the amount of text because labels can only contain a certain number of characters, in which case they'll expand and misalign. So try reducing the amount of text in your labels or choose a larger label design. Also, if you include an image in your labels, just make sure it doesn't change the height of the label. The fourth step is to make sure you're using the correct label templates. Check the labels you've purchased and look for the supply code. For instance, we're using Avery 5160. If you're unsure, contact your supplier for clarification on the correct model to use. Another tip that we can give you is to start from a new document. We recommend that you start from scratch and do not reuse a sheet that you formatted in the past. Chances are that the table used to align the labels got mixed up in the process and your labels won't print properly. You can find other tips and tricks on our website the link is available in the description below. Thanks.